thank you for joining us. I know you've been wondering, when is he going to have the governor on? How about right now? Our guest is Her Excellency, the Governor of the Commonwealth, Maura Healy. Always good to see you. Great to be with you, John. Thank you for coming. So our viewers know we taped this in advance. As we're taping this interview, there are questions about the fact that while hundreds of migrants are waiting, thousands really, are waiting for work permits to be issued so they can get out of the state's billion dollar shelter system, the number of permits issued seems to have stalled since late December. What's going on? Actually, it hasn't. The good news is we continue to process people. We've got several hundred uh, several hundred pending right now with the federal administration. We expect to get those back. We've processed 3,000 people for work authorizations to date. And that's important because we need to get the migrants working. The other thing I'll say is this. This continues to be a huge frustration to me as governor that we are having to clean up and deal with a federal government problem. Congress could have fixed this by doing a deal on the border, fixing the border, reforming our immigration system. They have yet to act. And so states like Massachusetts are left holding the bag. We had Senator Warren here in late summer, I guess, uh, where, and she was furious with the Department of Homeland Security for bureaucratic foot dragging in starting to process these work permits. Do you find that they're competent? I do, and in fact, that's one thing that I have gotten from the Biden administration. We haven't gotten funding, but we actually got agents from DHS to come here to help us process people to expedite work authorizations. I think we're the only state to do that. So that is progress. The failure right now, though, is really in Congress. They had a deal on the table a few weeks ago that would have provided more agents at the border, reformed the immigration process, also given states like Massachusetts money who've been having to bear the cost of these serious numbers of, of new arrivers to, to our country. And so that is incredibly frustrating and galling to me, outrageous, that we're, we're having to deal with this. It's a federal problem, and Congress needs to act. Well, the feds also are in charge of screening these migrants as they enter the country. Um, there's a very unfortunate situation where an individual who had been screened and allowed in uh, is accused of raping a, a young girl uh, in one of these shelters. Kelly Ayotte, the former senator, is now running for governor of New Hampshire, is trying to make a campaign issue out of your remark that the shelter rape shows the, quote, things will happen. She said, this is the problem with politicians. There are real consequences for dangerous sanctuary policies. Maura Healy should be ashamed of herself, end quote. What's your response to her? Well, obviously, that wasn't the whole quote that I gave. John... I was formerly the chief law enforcement officer for Massachusetts, a former prosecutor. What happened to this young victim, this 15-year-old girl, is exactly why the federal government needs to act, Congress needs to act, people need to do their job and fix this. I know, as a former prosecutor and former attorney general, that this individual who has been arrested and will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law and that that victim will receive services. So it's a horrible and heartbreaking situation, John, but it speaks to why the feds and Congress need to act. Well, what about AOT making it a campaign issue? I'm not, uh, I'm not interested in playing politics with this issue, John. In fact, that's been the problem here. Remember, it was a few weeks ago, there was a deal, a bipartisan deal, members of Congress, Republicans, Democrats, independents came together for a deal on the border to fix this. Donald Trump said no deal, no deal before the election, and they all pulled back, the Republicans pulled back. That's plain politics, and we and other states continue to pay the price. I mean, you're making a political point as well, right? I'm, I'm, making a, I'm making a response to, um, to your question that, okay. unfortunately, this is what is happening here, right? I think this is what we But you're putting the finger at the Republicans and Trump. I, I'm just speaking the truth of what happened. Okay. And, and unfortunately, I, I wish it weren't a political issue, right? Right. Um, but unfortunately, it is. And we're having to manage it here. As I say, you know, we are, uh, we've put some, some parameters around it, um, some limits around things. Um, and, and we're going to continue to do that as we manage this.
Also, importantly, we've gotten, we've gotten these people working.